Guys, it's Pierce from Team Gwent here, and I'm going to show you the bread and butter combo of the 60 card lights one deck, uh, post curious. Um, so basically, um, yeah, you, you need to open with like Lone Fire or Predefant, however, uh, it's Scorpio for this combo. Uh, and then a monster to pitch, so in this case, I've just got another Predefant because that's probably like the worst one. Um, and then you need a like any level four, so this could be like any level four in the deck or Uni Zombie. Uh, this is just like the worst one because, or not necessarily, but it depends on your hand, but um, it doesn't have an effect, so I chose it for this because any other card you'd be using the effect on someone and it changes your combo, so yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, the main combo stays like pretty much the same, but you do other stuff afterwards basically. Um, so yeah, what you do is you knock someone lone fire, use the effect, and another lone fire, and another lone fire. And then effect, and the reason you do all three lone fires is because that makes your snow better later, so you have more like more snows. Um, you summon out the Orifice Scorpio, use the effect. Summon out Darlington Co Cobra, and this uses the effect to summon add Brilliant Fusion from your deck to your hand. You like overlay this into uh, Invoker, and use the effect of Invoker to summon out uh, Thousand Blades, and then you link Thousand Blades with Invoker to Mrs. Radiant. Uh, and then you activate the Brilliant Fusion, and you send Trick Clown and Gemite Garnet, and you put the Seraphinate, make sure you put it in this zone, uh, it's important. And then uh, you use the effect of Trick Clown, and you summon out Thousand Blades as well from Trick Clown damage. Uh, so this is just like the standard Predipunk combo that you've probably seen in the past. Um, and from here, it sort of becomes more light twenty. So the next thing that you want to do from the combo is you want to use your extra normal from Seraphnet to normal summon uh, your level 4 in hand, whatever it is. Uh, and then you overlay your Trick Clown and your Goblin Berg into Minerva. So basically, um, you're going to make Curious after this. And you make Minerva first because you want to, one, have two extra X slots after you switch the Mrs. Radiant to Curious in this zone. And two, because you want to get your non-targeted mills before your targeted mills. That way you can adjust your targeted mill based on what you milled off the non-targeted mill. So uh, Minerva's a non-targeted mill, so we're going to mill all three off Minerva. And I've just chosen three random spells because they're like probably the worst things you could mill. Um, so I just wanted to demonstrate like the simplest version of the combo, basically. Usually you get like at least some good stuff out of your mills. Um, so then we link these three into Curious, and we get Curious targeted mill. Obviously the targeted mill depends what you milled off Minerva, but uh, in our case, like, we've got no good mills, so usually if you have, like, nothing, you just want to get Snow. Um, so, yeah, I got Snow, it's the best card in the deck. Um, then uh, you get three mills off Curious from sending the Snow, so you mill three, and I've just chosen three random spells again. So now, uh, basically, you've got a million cards in Grave for Snow, so your graveyard's like nice and set up. Um, and then, depending on what cards you milled off these cards, uh, and what cards you have in your hand, you should be able to make like some more cards. Usually like an Amaterasu, maybe, or like an Amaterasu and some Omegas. Um, I mean, the absolute best board you can make is usually like Amaterasu, and then like two Omegas Vanished, and then Tornado. This isn't as uncommon as you might think, it, it, it's fairly common. like. If you mill like uni zombies and mizukis and stuff, then you can like usually go off pretty hardcore and just like make a lot of these cards. Um, you can use this you use this to recycle with like your mizukis from Banished or your Rydens, whatever. Um, and yeah, and then um, that's basically the combo. If you can't make Tornado Dragon, then what I would do is um, let's say you could just make these three cards. Then uh, I wouldn't use a Mega Effect in my turn. You want to you want to save this for your opponent's turn. Um, because in your opponent's standby phase, you can return a card from your Banish to your graveyard. So you can like return Mizuki or return another card that could be good. Uh, it just depends on what happened exactly. Um, you still have two cards left in hand from this combo, so that can potentially help you combo off. Or the card you discarded off Orifice Scorpio could have been Mizuki or whatever. So yeah, I mean, you might have Gold Sark, that kind of stuff. It's just a lot of different stuff. There's a lot of variants in this deck, a lot of stuff that can make your combo a ton better. This card is like really good, it's a, a really important card in the deck because you can like uh, recycle your resources and then like banish Ash off Snow and then in your opponent's turn you get to add Ash back from Banish Zone to your hand. So like when you have like the nut board you just have like two Omegas so they're down four cards. 
You have Tornado Dragon, so if they play a spell trap, you can pop it. You have an Ash in hand, and then in addition, you have a Curious, which floats, and a Minerva, which floats. So, I mean, your board's just ridiculous, right? I don't think any deck can beat that, really. Uh, they'd have to open, like, super ridiculous. And then, um, guess a few other notes is just be careful when you're banishing with Snow, because, like, say you have Monster Reborn or Foolish or something, you probably don't want to banish them with Snow, because... Uh, Curious can add it back when it gets removed from the field. It can add any card, not just a monster. So uh, just be aware of that. Always be careful with what you banish with Snow because like, you want to summon cards off this and you want to add cards off this. So making sure that you have the right cards in Grave and stuff is really important. Um, and also make sure you banish this off the first Snow because this card's just pretty much useless on the board. And they might like pop it or something. So you just want to get that extra value, I guess. I don't know, it's, it's not like a big deal, but... Uh, it's just better, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, that's uh, basically the bread and butter of this deck. So um, I hope it was informative. And uh, hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Thanks, guys.